right, Jerry, so uh, Senator Schumer wielding a lot of clout in recent weeks, weeks over the controversial nomination of Chuck Hagel for defense secretary. Yeah, you know, Chuck Hagel's nomination has been the most interesting pre-inaugural debate in Washington in some ways. Uh, he's a Republican, former senator from Nebraska, who's being opposed by Republicans. And so the question became in recent days after he was nominated, will Democrats support him? And the key question was, will Chuck Schumer support him? Looking at uh, Sasha Malia coming out right now, the uh, president's daughters, both wearing uh, beautiful purple coats. Have you been following Michelle Obama's fashion, Jerry? No, I have not, although I did notice the bangs. There's a bangs controversy. Bangs gate. But I'm going to leave you bangs to gate. comment on the bangs I think she wore Tom Brown to church. We'll see what she wears I think I will tonight. only comment on the color of the president's tie. That's the as tie. far as I'll go. What are those coats? Fashion. You can comment on those coats. They're nice. <laughs> uh, just very quickly, what's going to happen next? Chuck Schumer will give a, Senator Schumer will give a speech. Right. Uh, and then we go right into the swearing in, then the inaugural parade. There's an invocation, and then the swearing in, and then the inaugural speech, which is really the highlight of the day. The one thing people remember from inaugurals are the inaugural speech by the president, and then anything that goes wrong. Right. It was kind of what happened in 2009 when the president and the chief justice kind of jointly botched the swearing in, the oath, the 35 word oath that's prescribed in the Constitution. They got it wrong, and they had to redo it again later just to make sure nobody thought he was an unofficial was president. He, that he wasn't president. Exactly. <laughs> right. There's some people thought anyway. All right, stick with us here at WSJ Live for Inauguration 2013 coverage. Coming up next, presidential historian Douglas Brinkley discusses whether there is a second term curse. We'll be right back.